in this lesson, we're going to talk about anonymous inner classes. We have talked on inner classes before, and in this lesson, we are going to learn about anonymous inner class. We have a person class here. It has a variable name and two methods. Great, which prints out high. And the second method is called hair color, which prints out black. We could create another class that would inherit from person and override either grit or hair color or override both. But we can do that with anonymous class. Let us create an object of this person class. Now, anonymous classes are normally created in expressions. And to do that, I would remove the semicolon and have an opening and closing bracket and then a closing semicolon. Now we have an anonymous class. Anonymous classes don't have names. Let me explain what this expression means. This simply says, create a class. It doesn't have a name. The information of that class is maintained within these curly brackets. That class that doesn't have a name extends the person class. So whichever object you are creating here is automatically extended by the anonymous class. Now that makes person the super class of this anonymous class. That is why we can reference the object of the anonymous class with the super class person. You have the opportunity to override the methods found in person, just as you would when any class inherits from person. So in this anonymous class, I would override greet. I can specify what I actually want to be printed instead. I will print out holla. It will use the version found in the anonymous class, which is holla. So you might see anonymous classes as you could in Java. It's good to know what they are because by looking at them, it might seem a little bit funny. If I call hair color, it will call the version in the super class, which prints out black. This is because we haven't overridden that in the anonymous class. I can change the type from person to var. Of course, Java would know that this is representing an anonymous class. So anytime you want to create an anonymous class, we follow the process of creating a new object, but we have an opening and closing bracket to represent the class. We can override the methods needed. Normally anonymous classes are in expressions. You wouldn't normally find an anonymous class in a separate file. 